welcome back to the channel guys and today we are playing another Halo Reach uh, for the Halo Master Chief Collection uh, playlist um, or playthrough sorry and it's going to be new Alexandra today so I hope we're all looking forward to it let's get into it boom bang let's go Report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. Right, let's go. Put your wings back on, Lieutenant. We're flying this Falcon. All right. I don't remember how to fly this thing. Covenant have deployed comm jammers in high rises across the city. When I find them, you hit them hard. Stand by, Six. One of our trooper squads went silent after the hospital got hit. Unmark the location. Complete their mission and take out the jammer. Now, there's quite a lot of. Um, quite a lot of achievements you can get in this mission. Um, I'm not going to cover them myself because they're quite long achievements. So what I would say is I recommend going to Halo Completionist or I think it's Maca Games who both have done um, these achievements, um, who have both done, um, who have both done uh, little videos based on the achievements for the uh, campaign. Uh, so if you just have a look at them, search up the achievements that are based on this mission. Oh, I'm going in too confident here. I'm gonna die if I'm not careful. Right. Take the needlers because we found out how strong the needlers were in the last mission. Especially if there's a lot of enemies about. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, I'm really, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it too. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I have because I have played, obviously played this mission, uh, this playthrough before on this campaign. Um, I would much prefer to be playing Halo 2 right now, but all in all, it's for you guys, and I don't want to be skimping out on certain sections of missions and stuff like that. So, obviously, I am going to play through this, and then I am going to play through Halo. Um, I'm going to play through uh, Combat Evolves as well. Yeah, so. I'm Right, I'm obviously going to play through Combat Evolved as well. Um, I am enjoying this. Um, obviously, there were some missions I didn't really want to have to put myself through, uh, such as um, such as Long Night Solace, um, because it's not the most exciting mission. Oh, I'm getting shredded here. Yeah, like Long Night of Solace, for example, it's not 
the most enjoyable mission on Legendary, and I know a lot of people look at guides for it to get through it. Um, and it's like one of those primary things that are just like, it's just one of those missions. I didn't mind it. But the next few missions are okay. There are points, obviously, which are going to be quite annoying due to the fact that, like, obviously you're not playing it on normal, so you can't... You can enjoy it for the difficulty that it is, and I do enjoy playing game uh, the game on Legendary. Um, especially because it gives you that, that certain aspect of challenge. Um... But it's, it's just one of those things. Um, it's just one of those things you can enjoy. If, if you don't want to play Legendary, then that's absolutely fine. But I do enjoy the challenge as such. Um, it can be quite fun if you just um, play it through. Stay back, you stinking bastards! But obviously there are always those, there are always going to be those um, episodes or, uh, or missions that aren't the greatest um, playthrough on certain difficulties. Oh, I'm getting shredded here. Always remember to use your environment. Okay. If you can stop there. Nope, 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 nope. I got stuck! Bollocks! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. <laughs> but, yeah. Let's just carry on enjoying the uh, campaign for what it is so far. lot to be honest with you guys rather than lie and I really appreciate everyone who's um, who's watching through these videos um, and fully like taking taking out their time to watch this video because I do put some time into it um, editing and everything like that and try and make it as entertaining as possible for you Okay, right, back. And, um, I just started to add another note. When I do play through the Halo 2 one, uh, playthrough, it's going to be, it is obviously going to be a lot more, uh, difficult as such. Thanks for the assist. Um, because one Halo 2 is incredibly difficult. Um, on Legendary. Um, but on top of that, it's also um, it's going to be entertaining because I haven't done it in a very long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever completed Halo 2. I don't think I've ever completed... I don't think I've ever been able to complete Halo 2 on, um, on Legendary before. Um... It's just one of those games. Obviously, it was released a period where <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't playing games on Legendary. I was just playing the games for the fun of it. And um, obviously, I have played through the whole campaign, but um, it was quite a long time ago. So I'm looking forward to that. But I am enjoying this. I enjoy the whole Halo series as a, as it is. Oh, this is going to be annoying. I need a plasma pistol. I'm really gonna struggle. 
these guys are getting annihilated. Need more ammo. Yeah, I'll take the needle rifle. These aren't usually the hardest enemies to fight, but there's so many of them. I've got a checkpoint, but nice. In the comments, guys, if you, um, I would say, uh, drop down below what your favourite Halo campaign is or what your favourite Halo game is. Mine personally, um, like many others, is Halo 3. I think it was just mastered. It was so good. Um, it was really good. The campaign was enjoyable. The uh, creation of Forge and custom games was uh, such a brand new aspect to gaming and it was just great. I really liked it and it brings a lot of good memories. Um, it's a great series. I know a lot of people will probably say Halo 2 because that was revolutionary. Um, but a lot of people might say Halo 1 because it was the introduction of Halo. Some people say Reach. And I don't mean to say that in such a way that it's like, oh, that's weird. Why you? Why do you like Halo Reach? Um, it's a matter of just saying, oh, Halo Reach. Out of all the Halos, you choose that one. And it might have been. It might have even just been a matter of it was the first one you played, and it really brought you into this. Gaming, um, gaming lifestyle. It's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. Halo Reach is far from it. Um, I just had a mixed opinion about it when I first played it um, for the first time. Um, for the first time ever, um, I had a mixed opinion about it. It wasn't Halo 3. It was different. And as I said before, Halo 3 was my favourite. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I don't mean to offend anyone who really likes Halo 4 or Halo 5, but uh, 343 kind of just didn't bring anything amazing. They kind of turned the game into, personally, into my my opinion, they turned it into a, a futuristic <laughs> Call of Duty in a way. Um, the multiplayer definitely wasn't what it should have been or could have been. Which is a shame, it is a real shame, because I, I really... Yeah, going back to what I was saying, sorry. Um, it, it really didn't have the same multiplayer feel. I always find Halo has a much more... Um, sorry. Halo Reach has a much more... Uh, not Halo Reach. Halo, like, 3. And Reach actually carried it on for the time. Um, for the time being... Um, of it having the kind of um, archaic uh, style of gameplay compared to things like Call of Duty and other games like that because it was just it like had things like oddball and loads of different things like that and and things like griff ball and game types that were so stupid and silly and like I just really enjoyed that aspect and custom games of Forge was something that you couldn't do in Call of Duty so I still don't think it is it's just something really unique
Give me one niner. Seven dead of one niner. You copy. Six headless troopers if you can. Why is there so many enemies, man? Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I really don't want this mission. Just get out of here. Take out that shade. keep moving yeah it's the way that halo is it is very different compared to other games and you either are someone who likes halo or you're just really not I remember the days when I was in uh, when I was in school and stuff like that people would be all over Call of Duty and would be like, oh, Halo's rubbish, not realistic, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, Halo's amazing. But it's always, I always find the argument with Halo and Call of Duty and stuff like that is always compared to people who play Xbox and play PlayStation. And back in the day, I was a massive Xbox gamer. Um, yeah, Xbox was the way to go. Um, and it was it was just a point proven that playing Halo, uh, playing Xbox was uh, the Xbox 360. I'm sorry, was way better than um, than the uh, any uh, than the PlayStation 3. Nintendo really didn't have a position. I also don't know what's going on with the game as in so when playing on a timed um, oh my god sorry guys I am trying to keep on the topic conversation I keep getting shot um, yeah, so playing um Oh, where was I? I've really lost my train of thought. Halo Fuck. What was I saying? Yeah, so going back, so yeah, playing Xbox Xbox 360 was way better than PlayStation back in the day, and people who are, who had PlayStation were the ones who were like, oh, Xbox sucks, Halo sucks, uh, PlayStation's better, Call of Duty's better, and those were the people who were kind of like following along with like Call of Duty as the main first person shooter with PlayStation, and then you have uh, Halo as the main shooter for Xbox. Now, I can't say that I didn't enjoy Halo, um, enjoy Call of Duty, sorry. I can't say that. Um, because you got to run through this bit because it can be really shit and you can die really easy. I have struggled on that bit so many times in the past. But yeah, I never said I haven't enjoyed like playing Call of Duty. My favourite Call of Duty is World at War. Loved it. Played the hell out of it. Loved the campaign. But Halo has a special place in my like, in my memories and everything like that. And everything that I play with my friends and stuff like that. So it's so good that it come to PC because as a PC gamer now, I, I have a PlayStation 4 but I don't really play it as much anymore. I'm much more based on playing my PlayStation. I'm much more based on playing my um, PC, sorry, and 
it's it's just um, it's just so good that this con this game has been released or well, this Master Chief Collection has been released on um, on PC because I can recreate or create new memories with this game and um, yeah it really makes it really makes something a new experience Shade turret quickly. Ah! <laughs> knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's it's just a new way of creating memories or reliving things. So, yeah, but like I do appreciate that Free for Free have created it, and people moan and say that it's disgusting the way that the games have been released or. They're such bad quality, or they're not what people thought they were going to be, or they expected this, they expected that. And I understand you'd be annoyed that it's not finished, released when it's finished. Um, but it's it's one of those things that obviously they've got deadlines and things like that and they can't always say when something's released straight away like when something's complete straight away there's always going to be that one two glitch and some of them can be really bad and some of them will fix within a certain time and it's a shame that certain things can't be fixed within a certain time but it's all based on the community being patient or the community helping out and what people need to understand as well is it's not just Makes a million, Sierra. Thought we were dead for sure. it people people need to understand that it's also a matter of um, like you're playing they're, they're creating a game and transferring it over to a platform that's not it's it's all built for one console specifically and it's hard to transfer that over yeah it's it's hard to um transfer it over especially with like something like halo 2 um if you do if you watch your videos or whatever on um on Halo lore and stuff like that or how people or people talking about how like Halo was created or blah 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 or like what it's like to try and um, edit Halo uh, like um, change the coding a lot of people mention that it's very difficult to um, edit the coding for Halo um, because purely because of there we go purely because of the um, way that the coding has been set out now the coding for Halo itself uh, Halo 2 was described which I find pretty funny described as um, sp like spaghetti everything was coded all over the place nothing was straightforward It's going to be difficult. Quite a few hunters in there. Stay down. We just got to hold out a little longer. Are you dead? No. Nope. I'll die. Oh, there's one. Reload. This is going to be difficult. This one. I got today. Now you can make this bit a lot easier if you do one of the uh, achievements. 
um, which turns this whole nightclub into a proper nightclub with uh, dancing grunts and brutes. And it's like it's a good achievement to go for because you can just simply have them dancing about while you're trying while you come in here and they don't really like bother you they don't want to fight you they're not interested and you can I'm pretty sure you can just go and activate the button um, without anything any harm or anything coming your way um, I'm struggling here because of a huge lack of support from you oh shit I'm in trouble If I get hit, I know I'm dead. Is he dead? Nope. Is he dead? Nope. Is he dead? Nope. I am. This bit might take some time, guys. I don't have any more grenades. Got a technique, I think. He's got eyes on me. You're not doing anything. Oh. Right, let's just leave. Ignore the hunters. I don't think anything comes up through here. Just ignore the hunters, let them linger. Got a checkpoint on the way out. I don't mind this mission, it's not too bad. Oh. Go away, go away, go away. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you either. Last time I did this mission, there was definitely not this many banshees. Okay, checkpoint, lovely. Fuck off! Oh, knew that was gonna happen. No, no, no! <laughs> right, I 
need, what I need is this to be blown up as quick as possible so I can get an evac. No, evac. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've got an evac. Oof, that was close. Go on evac. I thought. I thought. Nah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So in my last video, guys, I had the light in from this. So I had to darken it, so this wasn't too much glow. But I hope this time it's a right amount of glow. Um, leave a comment or whatever, or you know me, give me a direct message about the glow in this video. Um, hopefully I can get it just right eventually. Um, it's just a work in progress. But I do appreciate everything from you guys, so... Yeah, thank you. Go away! The last two shade turrets to take out now. Done, boys. Right. Hurry up. There we go. It's a regular family reunion. Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Sir, that true about Gauntlet Red and Echo teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communique. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, cat. Chasing it. But this console's got more shrapnel in it than transceivers. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. I want to know Holland, hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. In the southwest quadrant of the city, over. Sierra 259, if you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. Yes, sir. I mean, we got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles vacating the area. They're in a hurry. How often you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million wound guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That close! First glassing? Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir? We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? 
Covenant own it now. Which is why they want us for a torch and burn off. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. If it hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Well, thank you guys. Um, that has been episode 7, I think now. Um, or part 7, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we just completed New Alexandria. Um, really good mission, I really enjoyed it. I uh, did a bit more talk in this episode. Just asking you guys and interacting with you a lot. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, not as many tips and tricks this time. I did say... Um, I did give a shout out and recommendation to two well-known halo channels for achievements and stuff like that uh, those two um i will probably put in the description for you um but yeah thanks for watching the video guys i uh, really appreciate it don't forget to like uh dislike if you want comment what you like and finally subscribe there's about I think out of all, all my videos, there's like a percentage of like 75% of people aren't subscribed. Um, I, I have looked into what I want as a goal, um, as a set goal. I don't know how, when I want this goal to be achieved by, but I think the goal for now is um, just get 100 subscribers. That would be really amazing. Um, even like 50 at this point, we're basically halfway there. Um, but it would be really good to get uh, 100 subscribers. That would be great. Um, so, just, uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching the video. I'll be releasing more content, um, more Kellogg's Games videos and stuff like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate it. I will be also doing some tech videos. Sorry to keep on doing a breakup. Um, but I will be doing some tech videos at some point. Um, I just need some things coming through. Um... For example, I'm getting a new case from PC and stuff like that. But new uh, tech videos will be coming out here, there, and everywhere. And there'll be uh, better quality. Um, got some new equipment in. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. And bye.